Welcome back for another video with Beef Travels. Today we're in Nong Kiao in northern Vietnam, we're in northern Laos, and we're going to talk you through the three best things to do while you're here. of the sleeping lady viewpoint number one. So you have to pay 15,000 kip entry fee, which is less than a pound. That gives you entrance to two viewpoints. We're only coming to viewpoint number one today. It says that it's a 15 minute hike to the top, but it definitely took us about 20, maybe 25 minutes. It's very steep all the way up. The sun is starting to set now and it looks beautiful. We're not going any further because it will be dark by the time we're coming back. So we arrived here earlier on this afternoon. This is a really good thing to do on your first day. It doesn't take very long, walkable from town. And we thought it's best to do this one on the first day because we're gonna save ourselves for a big boy tomorrow. Good morning everybody, it is another day. We have just arrived at Pha Quang Cave, just outside the town. This morning I've managed to persuade Eve to come and do something that she really did not want to do. It took quite a lot of work, but I have got her here. Today we are going caving. We've just bought a ticket from the little restaurant across the street where they've given us some head torches. We've seen a couple of photos and videos from inside and it looks pretty mad. So pretty looking forward to it. It was about a half an hour walk out of the main town. We got a tuk-tuk. Yeah, very excited. I think it's gonna be big fun. I'm not as excited. I don't really feel the need to go caving. I don't feel the need to be crawling through holes in a cave. To be honest with you, I don't think I need to do that, but here I am with my head torches. Organized fun is not fun, Bob. Why? To anybody that doesn't know, this cave involves some very tight gaps, a little bit of crawling, some small holes that you need to pass through. I just think that is going to be so adventurous. I can barely contain my excitement. First entrance to the cave, you have a big opening and these Buddhas behind me. Very, very quiet in here. The only thing, slightly unnervingly, that you can hear are loads of bats. Wish us luck. Hey. Are you ready? No. <laughs> oh, bats. Oh, there's bats. Oh, there's bats. Oh, I don't like bats. So far, it's been okay. <laughs> <laughs> there's bats. I don't really like bats. The worst is yet to come. I feel the worst is yet to come. So we've just had to go through a load of tunnels that were okay, you didn't have to crawl, but the next part is literally like on your hands and knees, like down under here. So that's gonna be fun. I can't wait. A few bats in here. Again, a little bit unnerving when you're walking down the cave and you see the bats flying past your head deeper into the cave, but I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> it's very humid in here. We thought it was going to be a bit cold, but it is very, very like sweaty. <laughs> a shoe. <laughs> oh god. Oh, what? The last remains of who was here before us. Oh, there's a very small hole here. I don't really want to go through it, but that's why we've come here. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at the size of it. I mean, I know I can get through. I'm particularly small. I'm a particularly small person. I can get through that. But like, why? I don't need to go through that one. Just give it a go. Okay. As if you need me do this. <laughs> there is no need for this, you know. Try to turn sideways a little bit. Your batty's getting stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Current situation. Yeah. <laughs> I 
feel like a proper explorer. We have to fit through that hole as well. No, you can come oh, around where I am. Thank God for that. So, we've got a fair way into the cave now. It's getting pretty wild, like, there's a lot of commando crawling, a lot of very, very tight gaps. <laughs> We're more or less at the end of the cave now. We're gonna head back shortly. Um, what I would say if you do come here, bring trousers and bring something long sleeves. It is very hot, but there is a lot of crawling to do. Really fun though, really good. I've never done anything like this before. You do feel very kind of like on your own, but good fun. Is anyone else confused by commando crawling? Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah, you know, belly, arms and knees crawling like this. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just if anyone said to me commando, I'd think of being naked. <laughs> Going commando. Don't get naked in this cave. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's hard. Out. The way out. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> daylight. Daylight. We can see daylight. We're going out the cave. <laughs> oh, this was a bit where the bats came through. <laughs> Oh, there's one. Oh, there was one. Whoa, there was one right there. Oh God! Whoa. Anybody that says take warm clothes when you go caving, not this cave. It's absolutely sweltering. Back to the big opening. Very good experience. Honestly, that was insane. Got very dirty, very muddy, but definitely well worth doing if you're in non cow Depends who you ask. I'd give it probably two out of ten. Don't come here if you don't like caves, and don't come here if you get a bit claustrophobic. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is a brand new day. The time is just after half past seven, and we have woken up early to come and do the non cow viewpoint. It's very cloudy this morning, so I'm hoping that by the time we get to the top, the clouds will have lifted a bit, and we are going to see the view because I've seen photos and it looks beautiful. But I'm not sure. There was huge thunderstorms last night, so it obviously is a bit of a cloudier day. <laughs> Just as you're coming towards the edge of the town is the entrance. Pay a 20,000 kip entrance fee, which is the equivalent of about a pound. The whole thing is meant to take a round trip of three hours, not including any time at the top. So that's about an hour and a half up, an hour and a half down. It's just after half past seven now, so we're gonna see how long it takes us. Has anybody ever seen a pineapple growing before? I haven't. Another tiny piney. Tiny piney. When you first come in, the first thing that you see is a big bombshell spray painted on the side saying, keep to the path, because there is still lots of unexploded bombs in this area from the Vietnam War. Crazy, really, when you think about it. The idea is if you go in the morning, the clouds are low and they lift as you go up but it's really cloudy today we've only come maybe less than five minutes up from the entrance and we're already kind of getting into the clouds so i kind of feel like it's not going to lift for us today which will be a shame so me and eve came out early this morning to try and escape some of the heat but it is just so humid at the moment and the only reason we can think is that we are literally in a cloud right now like all around beyond those trees is just pure cloud I don't think we're going to be able to see anything at the top. So we've just bumped into someone who's on their way back down and she said it's beautiful up there, uh, which has given us a bit of a second wind because I was like, I thought it was just going to be cloud and she was like, no, you get above the cloud, above the cloud. So we're more excited to get to the top now. We are struggling a bit, to be honest. I think it must be the humidity. <sighs> it's hard work though. It's more like, more climbing than we thought. Lots of rope going through like trails in the jungle. But I think it will be worth it. <laughs> oh my God. I think we've made it. This is, I think, 
one of the best viewpoints we have ever done. We've been up here now for probably about half an hour, just taking some photos and having a general look around. And the sky is just starting to clear. The clouds are starting to lift and you can see quite how high up we are. It is stunning. It is so nice. Bring some snacks with you because it's an hour and a half up, probably an hour, an hour and a half ish down as well. So you're going to need some energy. Since we've been up here, the clouds have cleared. So we have a view of the valley down below of the village of Nongkiao. It's really lovely. It's quite clear, but the thing is, it's never gonna be fully clear at the moment because there's a lot of pollution. At this time of year, there's a lot of slash and burn agriculture. So it creates a lot of pollution, or as I call it, Airpole. So there you have it. There are our top three things to do in Laos. I think if you're going to do anything, 100% do this. This has just been an incredible experience hiking up here. Second, I would say our favourite or potentially more my favourite would have been the caves that we did yesterday. And then third and finally the viewpoint that we did the first day that we arrived. That's a much smaller viewpoint, still really nice, and you do get a view of the whole of Nongkiao. But we've enjoyed everything we've done here. It's been a really nice little place. We spent a total of three days here, and I think that's all you need to get a really good experience with where you are. We're gonna be doing weekly travel vlogs on a Tuesday. We're in Laos for the next couple of weeks. So follow along and please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.